Also here at 530, federal prosecutors say they've busted a human smuggling operation on the Detroit River. This is a really interesting case. It involved uh, men from Warren and Dearborn Heights, also a pontoon boat and a dock at a popular riverfront restaurant. Let's bring in Rob Maloney. He is live on this story for us tonight. Lots of different pieces to this puzzle. How did it all work? Well, it, it essentially worked out this way. There was an attempt to get at least one person work at a nail salon up in Oakland County, but they came here. That's what the complaint is saying, by the way. And they're saying that it happened here at the Sinbad's restaurant on the Detroit River because of its very close proximity to Canada. Longtime Detroit night spot Sinbad's is popular for its food, location, and boat dock. It also made it attractive to what the federal government is calling a human smuggling ring operating from the Canadian side of the river. In this terrible weather, you really can't see the dock here. But back just after 9-11, these signs were put up along the waterfront advising people that if you see boats landing and passengers leaving or late night landings where boat leaves immediately to call the border patrol. And there was an angler on the dock here, and that's exactly what happened. Another person flagged down a border patrol agent telling of the landing, who immediately went to Sinbad's dock, where a fishing charter captain told the same story of a tritune boat dropping off six people. Sinbad's was closed that April Tuesday last year, but the next day the border patrol visited Sinbad's, where owner Mark Blank gave them his security video. We saw people coming off the dock. Now, I didn't really see what the type of boat it was or anything, but I saw him walk off our dock and walk around the building and we had a couple different camera angles where we saw him and then we have another camera in the front overlooking and uh, we saw him walking around the building. The investigation led the feds to this Auburn Hills nail salon known as VPs. The complaint goes into great detail of surveillance of the salon's owner and one of his employees. The complaint naming Quang Dang Huang as having run the smuggling ring and employing Ho Sai Thong, whom the complaint says is an illegal alien in this country. Now, most interesting in the complaint was that both men that we just mentioned had to give up their phones to the feds, and they say that both of them were taking videos and pictures not only of the landing here and the apparent smuggling operation, but also Thong uh, went ahead and took pictures of his paychecks. And so in the end, the charges against the uh, gentleman who was allegedly running this conspiracy, transportation, harboring, and employment of illegal aliens. Reporting live in Detroit, Rod Maloney. Back to you. All right, we appreciate it, Rod.